Well, welcome to my shops again. Um, I've decided to make all new fresh videos for everybody who's been uh, uh, sending me questions and stuff. Um, you have no idea how stupid a man feels making videos, so bear with me as I try to explain some stuff. As you know, there's uh, a lot of questions, a lot of issues about the difference between a couple of different products on the market and I'm here to show you my product, show you the quality of it, um, how it's installed and the simplicity of how it's installed. So I'm going to start by showing you this particular block. Uh, I just pulled this out of the car real quick and decided this would be a good time to go ahead and get this all started for you. Uh, first thing I did was get it torn down on the top. I'm going to reseal the bottom, but I'm not going to take that apart until the top's complete. Uh, being that it could very possibly have crap or whatever fall down into there. And when I have that apart on the bottom, it'll be an opportunity to clean anything out that might have made its way down. So what we do is we just take it off, uh, go ahead and get the surface of the block cleaned, cleaned enough where all the material from the, uh, the head gas stuff has been removed from it. And then at that point, I just take some brake cleaner and wipe that off so I got a nice a residue free uh, top to work with. Now I'm going to do a lot more clean on this. This isn't a rebuild so I will clean the cylinder or the piston heads uh, very carefully each one and get that taken care of after I'm done with this. I want to get all the drilling and tapping out of the way so there's no more shavings to fall anywhere. Now you've seen different ways of people uh, protecting their motor and of course if you're not taking the bottom part you want to make sure you're, you're protected really good. So. I use this tape. This tape here is made by Duck. It's the Easy Start tape, and the reason I like this tape is because it's a very quick application. And look, this is a this is a man's world. I step straight up to the plate and get this stuff done. It's an engine requires somebody who can manhandle it, get into it, knock it out, and get it done. So one of the things I do is I want to eliminate the residue I build up on the block that I have to clean off later. So I discovered that this particular duct tape, the Easy Start, and they make more than one kind, but this particular leaves minimum residue behind. However, if there is any left behind, uh, what I do is I'll rough that up with a, with a wire brush so I can see where it's at because it'll show its face instantly and then take just a regular brake cleaner and it will wipe that right off. And so it's a real easy application. So what you do is what I do is to just take clear tape, this clear tape, run it across the bottom, Make sure I'm covering up all the oil ports. And what I'm going to do is just stair step this up real quickly like shingles on the roof. So any of the brake cleaner I'm using through the process will run straight over the top. Make sure it's nice and flat. And since you've cleaned the deck, it's going to stick perfectly. There's no 20 minutes of using any other kind of tape to specially go in one direction and then the other. Just cover it very quickly like this and a stair step straight up. This tape is real cheap and it can save you a whole lot of work later. So we're going to get that on there like that. This top part covered up. And then you got it, there you go. It's just like that. So after I do that, in order for the drill bit not to tear up the tape, to allow any brake cleaner or, or uh, particles of aluminum to get by and get into your engine very quickly. I've heard somebody say they wouldn't want to take the time to do this, but this is so simple. If you just run the blade around the top like that, instantly have the hole perfectly cut out. And very quickly, just show you that real quick. That way we have absolutely no breaches in there. So. Now we've already done the other side, so we're going to go ahead and flip the motor around. As you can see here, it's perfectly stair-stepped up. Now it's clear, I can see what I'm doing. Uh, I got each hole is cut out and it's ready, ready to drill at this point. So uh, we're going to move on to step two. So we'll see you here in just a moment in step two.